you think if he comes to Spurs, boom, we're we're just clear. Hmm. Obviously, Pal Torres, yep. Lewis Stout from Brighton. Mm, okay. He's very good. He's very very good. Um, if we could get Maguire on the free, I'd take him. Yeah. He's far better than Dyer. <laughs> far better. <laughs> Mate. So, 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 so those are the players you think. Realistically, yeah. I've... Um, who else? Maybe Joe Gomez. Jo- Joe Gomez is a shout, but I think he's renewed a contract. I think. I'm not sure, but he's like he's behind Matip, Kanate, Van Dijk. Pathetic, pathetic. I mean, if he comes to Tottenham Hotspur, he starts. Yeah, he'd be, he better, he's, he'd be our second best centre back. Yeah. You know, it's 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 interesting because you know someone who I have on my radar throughout the whole the whole um, year is it, it has been a, it's a real unrealistic signing, but I'm saying if he comes and joins Tottenham Hotspur, he'll be abs- it was two players. If they come and join Tottenham Hotspur, they'll be absolutely insane. Number one is the use of Trent Alexander Arnold in that Liverpool side is just pathetic. I think if he comes to Tottenham Hotspur, it's unrealistic, completely unrealistic. But if he does come to Tottenham Hotspur, play him as a right wing back. Or hell, if Liverpool play him as a right wing back, do you know what a flipping player will become? Ah, 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 Kimmy. If he comes to Spurs, wow, that would be that would be insane. <laughs> Thank you.